Hey guys, I'm back with another Eurovision 2019 reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Georgia's entry. So Georgia, I think their first year in Eurovision was also the first year that I was able to see the contest live. I happened to be traveling in Europe that summer um, and it was way before it was broadcast in the US and I'm not sure if there was even a web stream like a live web stream available yet at that point? If so, I didn't know about it. Before that, I used to just um, find out the song list, uh, either download the music uh, or find it on YouTube some other way, and just listen to it as much as possible before the contest, and then watch like bits and pieces after the fact. <clears throat> so I don't know, how, <laughs> I don't know how relevant that story really was, but the fact that George's first time at Eurovision was also like my first time actually joining in with everybody else during Eurovision. So it has a little bit of a soft spot in my heart. So um, I always wish the best for Georgia. This year, the singer is Otto Nem Nemzadze, I think. And the song is called Keep On Going. Okay, I will keep on going. We've got a few more songs to get through this year. Let's see what we got, Georgia. Live performance! What <laughs> I like the, the pants and the shoes. He looks like a chef. Oh, he's got the feels. And the man bun. Oh, yay, there's gonna be a choir! Georgian choral music is beautiful. This is so dark. Alright. Got kind of like a militant drum beat thing going on. Yeah! Yeah! I believe his angst. Okay, well. <laughs> so there's not really a chorus, per se. Got the Jordan flag in the background. They do have a beautiful flag. So if this is the chorus, it feels very much like a pre-chorus to me, because it's still so low. And it's really low in his own register, too. Like, you can tell he's much more comfortable here. But when he sings lower, the notes are a little bit less sure. Mm. Yeah! Male choruses are ridiculously good. What? Why is the one guy hitting himself? Oh, good. We have Georgia and Katy Perry getting up. Ugh. If he's singing about something really dumb, like chicken nuggets, literally the first thing I thought of. I'm gonna be sad, because <laughs> it just seems like what he's singing, it must be really deep. Yeah. Uh, that's an, it's an interesting song. I like it. Um, it doesn't feel like a complete package to me that I'm used to hearing, especially in Eurovision. I don't really feel like the song told one story or went or traveled like a certain loop or went in a certain direction. It's hard for me to really guess um, how it might do. By the end of the song, I felt like there was still more that could have been told that we're missing out on. Um, he has a great voice. I, I, want, I love the dynamic shift between the low, um, sort of almost like a droning on verse 
Um, and then the part where he he goes up and he's not wailing in the sense of musical wailing, but he's um, just really, really expressive um, during what I'm going to call the chorus. But I feel uh, like he could be a little more stable on the lower parts, just with the notes. Some of them were kind of uh, a little bit shaky. So I think there's a little bit of room for improvement there. <sighs> Knowing what I know in my own experience with Eurovision and the selections and the way people vote, I don't have high hopes for this song um, as far as the rankings go, but it is a beautiful, expressive piece and I can definitely appreciate it for that. Yeah, so that's Georgia this year. I definitely like this better than last year's submission. Um, I do love jazz and I was kind of happy that Georgia picked something that was, it, it really showcased something that was specifically Georgian in their own style um, of jazz. So I really liked that, but um, I felt it could be a little stronger. Um, I think this is an improvement over last year and I think there's a lot of realness um, to his voice and a lot of genuine feeling. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Georgia this year. Uh, where does it lie on your favorites list? Do you think it's going to make it through to the final round? Let me know in the comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.